Hey guys, welcome to day 40. Just uh, let me invite some people in here to the stream. So give me a second and, uh, and then we can get going and take a look at things. It's been a while since I've streamed, so uh, just want to get back to it. Hey Fizzy, welcome to the stream. So, um, so yeah, I think I'll just uh, <laughs> get going here. I have had to zoom out so much just to be able to cover all the towns uh, that we have now. Um, I have not been able to stream much this past week. Uh, a lot of work stuff and a lot of changes. So I'm just adapting and uh, that is also why it's great to have a whole team around you to be able to, to actually play this game. Uh, Fizzy, Sylvan and Summer has been, uh, has been covering most of the account uh, the past week um, at pretty much three different shifts th through the day. Um, and keeping things going. It is quite pleasurable and simple to run the account, but it still takes some time to actually execute things. And I'm just sitting on the side, trying to remember to give them coordinates where to settle and uh, and then they just keep building and it's amazing. Uh, we've been hard at work, yeah, yeah, you have. Uh, stuff to do, stuff to complete. Um, Actually, I think uh, Travian Games are looking into my videos once in a while. Um, we can uh, we can see that they actually changed uh, the icons here for uh, the twenty five percent grain, but instead of uh, of targeting crop small, they changed it to crop medium to get the same picture as is being used on the medium ones but it just displays a lot larger. So I think they need to go in and change the uh, the target source for the crop small uh, and then make a smaller version of this one. Uh, I don't know the dimensions exactly. Hang on, it should get displayed like this. Yeah, 45, 41. And these ones are, yeah, I don't know how they make these combos where they're next to each other, just a smaller version, but uh, but yeah, it, it looks a little weird now, but uh, all those are um, are our 25% croppers. Um, a lot to the deaf towns. We're building deaf towns still. Uh, you can see 12, 14, uh, 15 somewhere, 16, 17, 18. So also build your smaller new ones. But as you can see, they, they all have two oases to them. So with trills, trying to maximize our yield uh, mainly 250s right now we're placing with two like 150 percent and 125 percent but still on grain um, and those are new deaf towns they only build infantry and they can do that easily on their own production so we're still uh, building some stuff but otherwise all all these supporters are as they are, running their parties and just feeding into everything. Capital, we changed, changed the trade route, so they run into all the deaf towns um, and prepared a lot extra of them since we're not having greats. Uh, but we are currently holding a unique wall, just keeping that safe for now. Uh, aw, I'm so sorry, Vikruf. Give the sub now to be number one. Can I do that? Give the subscription. No, no, then I have to gift something. I don't know. Eh. All right, I'm not sure how things work, but yeah, I'm glad you guys can uh, use a little of Joachim, the happy squirrel. Uh, I got him in there for you. Um, and, um, and yeah, so we're babysitting Unique Wall. Uh, the past week, like last weekend, we got into a fight with Poi. Uh, 
we got into a small fight in our own quad with the CH alliance. Uh, and then people have been attacking us throughout the week from Huna and from Turks, like, uh, I don't know, some meta alliance going on uh, from Black as well. Um, so so we're, we're getting poked from here and there. So uh, there is some uh, new interactions in the game. Uh, and... Uh, and that's great. That's great. Um, so what we can kind of look into is is uh, that progression throughout the week. I think um, I think I also need to play a little. Uh, we're also going to go the, over the whole new uh, trade route setup and uh, how those things are working. Uh, I think I'll redo the ones in the cap just so I get used to it. We can see and check how it triggers when you set up from multiple towns. Like I'm not sure if any of the functionalities have been changed in general. So I'm a bit inquisitive towards finding out what has changed. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, I think we can try and rush through the <laughs> hey page. I wasn't sure if uh, you would show up if I started streaming this early. And uh, and greetings to you also, United. Good to have new people here, as well as the old people. Um, <laughs> well, I'm uh, I'm glad you like watching people play Travian. Um, but uh, but yeah, I've uh, I have a lot of videos of the first weeks. Um, from every day and the development of the account that's what the stream is for and uh, right now i'm just trying to do a recap of a week that i haven't been here uh so bear with me guys i'll try and find some report find some data and we can kind of go over thing uh yeah but uh but welcome united uh it's a mix of people playing travian people on the server people from our alliance uh i can just show you we're not full of shit. we are uh biggest account on the server so we uh we do pack a punch um but I, I think i'll go into the recap now just to see what happened um and i think i'll just do it through reports and like i think at the uh, like six days ago or something like there are uh, smaller skirmishes on the map uh here and there um did I copy link? Yeah. All right. So here's one report. Uh, it's just a random guy from NRT trying to do something. I think steal an artifact or something. So just a smaller def wall hitting that. Um, so people just poking here and there, as you would normally see a progression of throughout the game. Just people trying to steal stuff from each other. Um, uh this is okay that's a really bad chiefing i guess that was uh the same guy that got attacked i guess ah ah no that's uh that's on batman so we ran an op last friday i think uh just to clear out some players around in our quad and uh it got picked up i think i was also streaming by huna and then they decided to to uh, merge together and then send them defense to uh, to try and wall all our hammers which succeeded at least some of the these op hammers uh so i think i have a few more of these uh i have our own um so fairly small sized hammer uh just out to do uh, ops for the alley and they just calculated the exact amount that was needed to 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 stop the hammers uh, so we got to grind some defense uh, but not really the defense you want to hit uh, it's very disgusting to hit um, so and then we have some more because I think they want like I don't know six to ten hammers I'm not sure but these smaller op size ones uh, I'm not sure why he defended with Kopesh, but I don't know. I would have loved to hit that. I'm disappointed. <laughs> uh, and then we have some more. Hell of a hammer too. Also grinding through a fair amount of horses. 
So actually losses higher there on uh, on the defender, but still. Losing hammers is not really that amazing. I think we have... Uh, yeah, and then we managed to spaz out completely the Poi Alliance. Like, they are called NHT. Um, and then their sub people are Poi Alliance. Uh, so these guys was or somebody else was doing collectively. I think this one is also followed up by a smaller hammer, which is kind of displayed here. So they were trying to show that they were running an op without hero. And then they did a follow up timing closer by, I think from, um, I, I don't know the timings per se, but I don't know, six hour reaction time. It seems a little weird, but. I'm not sure what they tried to do, but uh, tried to steal Unique Trainer. And apparently that got Poi to spaz out and was faking, like, you know, all towns with one unit. And apparently they kept doing that because they got attacked. I don't know what the problem is, but they started spamming us. And then Fizzy was so kind to build us our own ones with the entire alliances of Ho and T and Poi. And then we just kept spamming them back because, you know, who cares when you have, uh, now we have 81,000. We still managed to build more slaves than we used, but we are as far, far as you can get out on the map. So spamming them re relentlessly, collectively with the rest of the Alliance, then uh, I think people got enough of it and then decided to, okay, we'll, 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 we'll just stop it now. This is stupid. So, uh, I think I'll just NPC a little here. Um, so, so that was a boring, terrible weekend. Uh, lost those hammers and let's see, can we build something of value? Not really. I'll set this to sim and I'll send some more. 25, 25, 25, uh, 20, okay, um, this one is maybe close, yeah, 11 minutes, that's fine. really a lot more so let's even that out then that is going um, this one is pretty much completed it just needs a little bit more on uh, production like we can go into a little bit about how we develop these new supporter dev towns uh, but for now I think I'll still do that recap of the week just needed to actually play a little um, so those hammers got killed in that op we had some skirmishes and then uh let's see okay that's just i don't know nasty precedent getting involved in other stuff nrt i don't know what this is but eh. uh stuff to show we have that was no that's another one okay i think also a try on a no, that was try him trying to destroy his cap fields. Defended that. Yeah. And let me just validate things. Can show this one. Maybe that was also from the op, I guess. Uh, got killed there. What is this? I don't know. Another random hammer hitting us from UA Alliance. Whatever that is. And... I don't know. Stuff is weird, but... A guy hitting something. I don't know if it's people trying to do some stuff on artifacts or 
whatever it is. Messy milk bone is always a punching bag, so another hammer landed on them without a hero. I don't know what that is, guys. It is weird stuff. And then, ah, yeah, the reports from Antichrist. Um, they use their, this is their spawn hammer. I think they cleared something large, unique, small, something with their spawn hammer, uh, but still packed a decent punch, uh, ran that into hood on a small diet. Um, I didn't want to say anything on the day, but Sylvan wanted to, and that was the fact that they, they, they already have unique diet and two smalls or something. So what do you need another diet for? But they're awesome, so why not? And they got it, uh, so they hit it here. Uh, <laughs> a front runner, uh, like a solo mission, they had unique boots, so pushed that in. And then behind, they landed with this, which is hilarious, <laughs> which is, uh, I think, their third or fourth hammer, um, which they send in with the hero and the catapults, and which the, what their dual underlined random target was selected and seriously guys there is a four per four percent chance of hitting the treasury and they still managed to hit it <laughs> and then actually got the diet so cleaned out the rest of the defense there um, so very successful but very very lucky um, so great entertainment there throughout the week uh, and then I'll see what else we have. I don't know. Random black people attacking one of our accounts. Um, what is this? I don't know. CH fighting back with something. Um, let's see. Another hammer, barely cleaning, actually managed to clean through, I guess. I'm not sure what the correlation is here, but people are having fun. People are fighting. I like it. <clears throat> oh, and uh, yeah, Ukraine, we use mobile apps for Travian. Like, you can just use the reg regular browser. Um, they don't have an app per se, so just use the browser, but they made a modified modern version a little bit. It, it's, it's, you have to get used to it. Like you swipe from side to side to activate the parts of the interface. Like, uh, like if you want to see the village list, you swipe that in. If you want this, you swipe the other way and stuff like that. And otherwise it's fairly clickable. The only thing that's really annoying about it is that you can't see the production in the towns. So you can't really overview that, but otherwise it's uh, it's fairly functional. Um, very good for early game. It becomes a little less manageable with this amount of towns, but uh, yeah, but it, it's still able to stay on the loose and stay on the go if you need to. So, and it's good for raiding. So, uh, otherwise we have uh, some more reports like. We are far from done, guys, uh, because, yeah, the Turks, uh, Istanbul Ali, decided to try and barrel down on us. Um, so they made an Abbas on us through the week. I can't remember which day, guys, and it's not really displayed here on the reports, but I'll just show the full uh, death reports. We made a nice wall for them, so some fairly, not super big, but it's a big Roman uh coming in uh so a big wall here with 70k praetorians 90k spears and uh here just tons of slaves slaves we filled it with and a good backup of um of uh of the uh, and who got so um and so again it was needed another hammer landed grinded a little bit more um 70k clubs uh, and then this one 65k clubs 
So starting to take, yeah, about 15% of the defense each time. So a big wall was indeed needed. Uh, there's a lot of them, so I don't want to miss any. Uh, here we have one. Another one, a gall follow-up. So, losing around 50k slaves each time. And then, maybe that was it. Like, follow-up kata waves, thinking they would break through. Oh, and then somebody missed a report, so somebody linked that as well. Just a smaller, um, smaller club hammer. So, we held decently. Um, but still took some losses. I think that was pretty unavoidable. Uh, which also made Hunor think that they could start harassing us with some ops as well. Um, uh, this is, again, black is also just annoying us. They're like on the edge of our quad, I think. Um, also just targeting a supporter, I think. Um, so smaller hammers just pre breaching on us um, and another one so just collectively getting some death points this week uh, we can look at the stats here in a bit I think that would be sensible to do uh, I think this one too I was actually 111 K clubs with only 15k horses, so somebody's sitting there with great barrack, <laughs> but nothing in the stable. Um, so got walled pretty hard. Like you don't want to face 229k ash wardens. That that's gotta hurt. I I totally missed this report, but um, he banged his head against the wall. That's for sure. Um, And black again. So I think this was during their op against us, where Huna also sent, like they're collectively trying to work together. Ah, this one took uh, a fair amount more of the defense there. Uh, I think, yeah, that was the last one there. Oh, and then there was a little follow up hammer. A little Egyptian baby. And then Lucid Dreams decided to throw away a hammer on a chief mission. Uh, not more of that report. And I think that's that sums up the uh, reports that I have. Uh, there was some reports from the Huna attack. They managed to chief a few death towns. I'm not sure how many. Um, maybe, I don't know, six. And then we also inserted on some and then they managed to hit four capitals, which was a little wacky because it, it was good. They took down their cap fields, but they went for some of the smaller players, which were, I can't remember their names, but some people like this. Uh, and then they got them down to 450 pop. Like they just removed the cap fields. Uh, but still, they have all the oasis, all the infrastructure. I think some of them didn't even have grates in them, uh, like great storages. So we have just been boosting some back, uh, rebuilding, uh, not boosting Death Towns back. You can't really that, but um, I presume they've been rechieved or whatever, but uh, slow and steady. Um, uh, maybe I can build some stuff here. Yeah, we can just keep simming, I guess. Even though I just kind of want to push up that production, uh, that storage capacity. I'm not sure what uh, they're. It's getting used on <coughs> by Fissy, and he didn't leave me any. Um, then we have. Again, we can kind of take a look at the account now. 
I guess. Um, we have still just Hammer running. Uh, we have Deftowns running all the standard ones we built. And we build... Uh, it's, this is also kind of supposed to run Ash, but since people started f faking us with one unit uh, unit rates, then we decided to just build a dedicated one for it. So if anybody wants to start faking us again, we're, we're definitely ready. I uh, can activate those lists. And then we have... Uh, this one is achievable with... Uh, with the unique wall, and then we have additional deaf towns here uh, getting up and still working on 17 and 18 right now. So, uh, and the achievable, the 13 we build in the middle of our cluster. Let's see, right here. Um, so, just a lot of space around it. Uh, it can also fill up a bit more or whatever we want, but it's just there getting babysitted. And then we have these other deaf towns, right? And I think this is the newest one, uh, 18. It can take this oasis and this oasis. So just covering ground like that with, uh, with all of them, 17, we can also just take a brief look at. It could take that one and this one. So just covering, um, around our uh, like it's it's fairly close to the capital it was also a 9c um so just getting what has a good production and at the at the same time has this uh, extra value in regards to building units so we're just building them normally throwing up three of each warehouse and granary getting all the infrastructure uh for production and then we get Hero Mansion 15, we get a Waterworks 15. Uh, don't want to push them to 20, really not worth it, Just but want to maximize our production. Uh, they just get that one barrack and pump units from it. And then we get the upgrades completed and then a hospital. So in the long run, it can reclaim its hospital queues while still pushing the barrack queues on its own with its own production. I think it's pretty fine. It's around 25, around 30k an hour. Um, so just running uh, with that is kind of optimal for us. Uh, <clears throat> while the cap feeds into these and these extra supporters can, like they're just our CP generators, right? We built from the beginning. Uh, so they still just run parties and feed into what we need to build. Uh, I should also kind of, yeah, now it's ready here. We're just going to finish the capacity or at least continue to build it. It'll be a while before it's ready. Hmm. I think I'll NPC it. All right, so 50, 50, 50, 35. Mm -hmm. Ah. Um, yeah, it's far away. I don't know. We'll be talking here. Won't be building that much. I'll leave that to Fissy, right? I also think we need to add some more gold. So I think Sylvan swooped in and added two packs so we could uh, continue increasing our production and our size exponentially. Um, that seemed kind of necessary, so thank him for that. Um, otherwise, I guess we're hoping for another promotion, but otherwise we'll add as we need it. Um, 
We are not overflowing anywhere, right? We also currently have a uh, hammer running. Um, we're, uh, there's ops tonight. I think we're just annoying Huna, uh, doing stuff with them. Um, so, you know, everybody gets some love. Everybody. Talking time. And I see you guys have been spamming. I've just been running the run through of everything. So should I read up a bit? And welcome Stan. And yes, oh, hey Mustafa, yes, Swiss cold is the best. It is nice. Um, but yeah, um, let me see here. We need to push some resources here. Oh, 240, ooh. Why is it not done? Like, like 60, 110 and stuff, I guess. This definitely won't make it overflow, so. But could we push some more? I should just. If we're overflowing, it's all Mustafa's fault, I guess. Oh, wait, I'm sending, <laughs> boosting from a deaf town. Uh, that's not really my uh, plan right now. Um, I think I'm just going to let them bank up. We're also going to check uh, check out those trade routes, guys. Um, but this is just ready. Actually, I think I didn't mention that. We only have 21 still. Like, boosting alliance members, building... Uh, the hospital queues for our hammer, uh, continuously boosting up new towns, running all these deaf towns. Like remember when we finished our 20s, we didn't have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, and uh, probably not even 12. I think we just dropped down 11. And then we had to build 9, 10, and 11 and complete their infrastructure and make them able to build troops. And at the same time, Hammer died. We had to rebuild it uh, and with the hospital queues while boosting up everything else, plus these two. Uh, so it's been a little straining on the account production-wise. Um, and we don't have a diet. We had a diet for a little bit, right? When we were holding on to it before passing it. Uh, but we really haven't had the balance to, like, we've been trying to keep our production queues up with 10 hour, uh, longitude on them. Uh, it has been Sylvan and Summer and, and Fizzy really, uh, really keeping that production going throughout the day. Um, so, but that has also resulted in, we're up to 140 slaves. 180 Ash Wardens, and then we hit that 100k mark on uh, uh, on the Anhugat. So this is pretty brutal to hit with this. So we're, we're kind of satisfied with where we are. Uh, still got that extra siege that didn't die from the op. Uh, when we lost the hammer, we have a good amount of scouts. So always nice to have those, both for offensive and defensive purposes so 
that is pretty much what we got right now. Um, uh, news gap, I can't send rest. I just elaborated on how how much we're struggling on our own. Uh, and yes, then, yeah, no gods. It's the power. It's the good stuff. Uh, but I think I managed to do the run through on the account there. Uh, and what happened through the week in a decent amount of time. Actually, ooh. Uh, let me just stretch out a little bit, guys. <sighs> so I think I'll... Aw. Okay, so that's the classic. Just a chief town, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Oh. When is resources landing? This is not an issue. Um, this one will be. So, nine minutes. Nine minutes, setting a little alarm. Just for 10, because the only thing that matters is when these bigger batches comes in on top of each other. But I um, think we just need to spend down here, and then here, and then we have enough capacity for the rest to land. Um, yeah, I haven't really played for a week, guys. Um, so bear with me uh, here. I'm also just going to stretch my legs a little bit here. Uh, I had a super long week with work. I have been, uh, like my bosses at work have been watching my stream and, uh, and then they decided to say like, ah, you could optimize on your management skills. Uh, we see you struggle, uh, corresponding with Joachim sometimes. We see that, uh, people don't, are not informed about being where to settle and, uh, and, uh, and all these aspects of m managing an account uh, you could improve upon. So they sent me on a two-day course. Uh, I had to do some prep work for that and uh, after analysis and uh, and then with my otherwise also normal work week. So I've had a lot to do. So I apologize not for, for streaming so much. But um, but the point with the stream was also the development of the account. And when we kind of hit those 20s, then it was kind of, it's kind of over in regards to developing your account for 19 fields in the early game, getting that def up, getting things running, and then hitting those 20s with the... Uh, with the, uh, with the storage. And when that is done, you can do whatever you can do whatever all game long but uh, but um, it was hard to check up on things but uh, now we're back to not normal because I I'll, uh, I got a few days off now from work um, I have three days off in the beginning of next week so I'm on a, like a five day small baby vacation here so maybe I'll stream a little bit uh, just do some brie uh, brief updates and maybe we can talk a little bit about the game and uh, the development of it and uh, and some other aspects but uh, I'll give you guys top 10 here so you have something to look at uh, I see Antichrist they're kind of they were kind of on the lead or not on the lead but they, they, they have also had some management issues so if they need a little course I, I'm you know, uh, just reach out to me, guys, and uh, and we can talk things over. Um, but I think they're back on track again. They also got a little... You get, get a little burned out, like, after 30 days, you know, just rushing everything and struggling and fighting and then trying to do everything as good as you can, and then you need a holiday. So I've also not been playing that much, so it's good to wind down a little bit and detach... Um, 
but they had a few days where they didn't sim and then um yeah had some internal conflict i think but otherwise they're a little bit back on track now and i think they're going to play the round out with their team um or I'm, i have a hard time understanding what team they have though i think it was just, i thought it was just hana and then mago as their sub alliance but I don't know, Black is a weird alliance. They're kind of in our quad, not really doing anything, and now they start doing a little bit, but they are the only one with a wall artifact and has a VV, and I'm not sure if that's for a hunter or what is going on. Um, <clears throat> but there is some progression there in regards to, to gameplay together. And yeah, yeah, Fizzy asked uh, if he should stream for me. Uh, I don't know. I, I like having it as my own little thing, and uh, I like hanging out with you guys once in a while. I think you would get more frequent updates if we shared it, or Fizzy just makes his own stream, and then we can refer to each other, or like so we can raid each other. But I'm not sure how all of these things work. Uh, but check out Fizzy's videos. If I'm not coming with anything, uh, he has some uh, account updates every three or four days. I think he just goes in every day and does a little brush up of things. Um, a little bit about the progression of the account. Also does reports and stuff. Uh, do you queue with helmets? Uh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Not right now. Uh, we actually do once in a while. Uh, if we're very dedicated and for example if we tell Summer okay you need to queue troops then she sits with the hero uh, moves around um, and queue uh, but if I am to queue I mainly do it on horses simply because they're harder to get out um, but if you have a hard time maintaining your queues don't be afraid of not using helmet um, but uh, if you have a hammer, then, then use helmet because it's way more easy to dedicate some time for the hero just to, to boost into it once in a while. But uh, I think right now we're not really queuing that much with helmet at all. We're just trying to keep everything running. Again, we're just mainly a, a dev account and offensive wise, we don't really care. Oh yeah, guys, and I'm back in the game. And yeah, Fizzy, and uh, Dean, welcome back, my man. Missed you too. It is hard walking around out there in real life, you know, working your butt off and talking to people and making chores. And, uh, and then you just think about Dean and then you get so sad inside that you can't be there with him. <sighs> but yeah, today I uh, have a little bit of time just to hang out with you guys, talk about the game, and uh, and play a little. And uh, can we do another waterworks? No, I'm still waiting for the boom, but it's coming in. Uh, this one we were waiting for here, right? But we have that alarm, so we can keep chilling. Um. <clears throat> and yeah, yeah. But I like that you guys are here uh, when I become available. It is awesome. It is good for the community. Um, let's see... idiots people getting raid scouted on their oasis right about doing ops right you should never do that that just gives the enemy free intel what you do when you're running an op collectively as an alliance and don't want anything scouted on you we had this oasis connect to our hammer in the early game but we dropped that as soon as we could gave it to a deaf town and then when you send attacks, you have your scouts in your primary village, and then it's the only option to 
to uh, to scout that specific town. You also get higher defensive value based on the wall uh, when fighting with your scouts. Um, so you really need to do it like that and not have it on your oasis. Um, oasis you can scout and and calculate the crop consumption it's 10 times lower in regards to the calculation based on your uh, your normal town so you just need to tweak your math a little bit when you calculate uh, but this one uh, yeah is a no-go unless you want to give free intel away uh, let's see here we got some resources Boom. Uh, five minutes and it's done. And then we'll just wait five minutes for this. Whoa, it's a lot though. Uh, can I complete this? Oh, yes, I can. Thank you. Uh, like, we also need a party up, right, guys? So, <laughs> boom. Uh, this is fine. Oh, that was an alarm, and I presume that was for using this <laughs> let's just put a little smaller alarm in four minutes and it's alarm mode today just because I'm lazy oh, go away swasiko Okay, I think that fixed it. Okay, just had to block him and stuff. Ah, okay. Mm, ban, and then... Oh. Okay, yep, may work. Thank you. Overflown spawn, really? Oh my god. No. Ah, you fixed it? Oh, okay, so... But we need the trait running, man. Like, this gets eaten, like, in half an hour. Like, in an hour. Um, so... Oh, what's the resources? 19,000? I don't know. 35? Is that doable? But yeah, we could really use some greats in the spawn. That's always the one <laughs> I really want. Some stuff coming in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. We don't need to max it out. I know, Nick, but it's always good to see if you can push the big amounts. Uh, but yeah, alliance-wise, yeah, we've been hitting some walls. Like again, being top attacker is not necessarily a good thing, right? 
So hitting some walls, and then otherwise, uh, defensive wise, it's um, we're doing good together, uh, somewhat. Can't kill everything all the time in all ops or incoming ops, but it's all right. We're still alive and kicking. Thanks, Dean. I heard Huna did as well uh, a decent job on us, but not on our account. It was very sloppy what came in on us. Uh, so it was easy to handle in our regard, but other people had some issues. Um, and yeah, we uh, Mustafa plants our ops mostly. Uh, and uh, so you can tell him he did a good job, but again, we didn't know you would get help with different issues so we uh, we got splatted uh, I think we need to do upgrades at the same time here we got the resources coming in oh we just want to finish the capacity <laughs> yeah, Dean, I'm fairly sure you would have been. Um, but um, uh, but uh, did they hit your player from Huna anyways? Or what was that whole shebang about? They didn't attack you afterwards or something? No, nah, there was just Batman, like something about him being hit afterward by Antichrist or something. But maybe that was just a random running joke. Um. But uh, that is how it goes. Yeah, don't worry about it, Dean. Uh, nobody really tells the truth anyways. Except for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 you're you're honest too, Dean. Sorry, it wasn't minded on you. It's just uh the Huna and the Poi guys and whatever, they're just talking shit all the time and uh uh, and then, and then I get bored, so I haven't really checked server chat lately. Any, anyways, it's just people bitching and being bored. No, you lost an oasis from the dude you chief last night. Well, you started it, didn't you? <laughs> Oh my god, oh, you lost the cap oasis? Oh, dude. Dude. Oh, what is it? your account name was? It's DC Bra, right? Uh, well, at least you didn't lose the 50%. But what did you. Uh, you have this one? Wait, that's your capital one, too. So, okay, so you lost this one. But yeah, it's really important to clear your area from whatever enemies is close. Uh, and he took it to his cap. Ugh. 
No, ah, <laughs> it's his spawn, and it's still capital. Oh, dear lord. Uh, but okay. Yeah, yeah, you can't do anything but zero that, so. But not necessarily an easy feat. But yeah, sucks. And then, yeah, rebuilding in, in your capital is not... Like, you have a 9C, so you have bonus buildings as well, I presume, and uh, it takes out a lot of space. Shit's going on in Minus Plus, man. Minus Plus is just a madness place of mayhem and destruction. I love it. <laughs> it is what Plus Plus should have been, but it moved to Minus Plus instead. Yeah, and and as Nick says, yeah, if if you want a way to 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 fight this hitting an oasis, he will never have defensive wall bonus. So taking it back with your hammer, grinding through anything he wanted to place there or whatever, just go fucking mad on it and then you can clean the rest afterwards. But at this point in the game, he can easily get defense from elsewhere around, so it's it's a little harder to to control, to be honest. And he can just switch over and harass this oasis instead. It's a little, it's a little, I don't want to go into details. He should have been gone a long time ago. Good luck, bro. <laughs> like, uh, it's that easy. <clears throat> so, so yeah, and especially if you're playing where you spawned, it's like, go fucking aggressive from the beginning because it's always easier and cheaper to kill people in the early game than it is to do in the late game so investing into your account early on and then starting full hammer production and then just madness destroying everything around you it, it's a good strategy done it a few times it's it works um Yeah, to, you know, again, it's a learning curve. Some people just quit on a server, move on to the next one or something like that, you know, when it goes not their way. Uh, do you always send hero to adventure? And uh, hey, Smoothie, thank, thanks for following. Thanks for joining in. Uh, what, what do you mean when always send hero to adventure? Like, is it early game or late game or whatever? Because the, don't don't take adventures or early game, but otherwise take them, all all the all what you want, but not taking, like doing adventures may means that your hero is not out cleaning oasis, and getting extra resources from that. So and you want all the resources you can get early game, but later on it's just yeah take them, whenever you can. <laughs> and yeah Rick, uh, Rick Ruff, that's correct we did 13 in our capital early game on one server and then got the hero mansion up got the waterworks up and then we just boosted everything out into the first hammer and then just destroyed everything around us within the first week. Like, just went full ape shit on some Russians. Like, imagine settling here, and then all around our 10 by 10 or 15 by 15, that was like just filled up with Russian players on all the croppers you could find. And I was like, okay, this is not working out. We're gonna fucking destroy everything as fast as we can. So, people being right next to us, you know, just we got a thousand. Uh, infantry or something and then a few hundred katas and we just started bashing into everything and it just kept on grinding like and then had another guy that we made into a little off account next to us just to help out with other people and like it's great it's amazing what you can do early game right now if it's worth uh, yeah yeah it's like it's always a few extra resources it's uh, an item that you don't have 
it's like you can debate is it not worth doing adventures when tier three weapons are out and you have all the gear you need then no then you send your hero to vv and it'll stay there if you're a deaf player but you should always use your hero to get a little extra value you can get a little artwork extra you can get some ointments you can get the perfect weapon you don't have again if you don't have a standard to reach your death calls or something like you might get lucky and get it otherwise it's a few resources or some tablets so you can raise your loyalty in your towns when you get attacked it's yeah it's different good stuff so let's see no sylvan is at a party is that coming in today But who doesn't want to be at an 80s themed party? That sounds funny. So we got some resources in here. Let's just get that up to 15. And again, we just want to complete these Ash Wardens upgrades. Yeah. we have more stuff coming in no Ooh. but we want this to 20 this to 20 this to 20 this to 18 okay it'll need a lot of resources uh, what about this one is it overflowing is it anything not really but i think we can use it to boost some stuff to 10 I think I have five minutes, so let's. Uh, I need to check up on some things. Parties. I think I just want some stuff above 10 hours. This means I can't do that. Mm. This one we can fix. Okay. So. Ah. Uh. I think we want it into 17, right? so much additional crop I'm like kind of need a diet town to or a granary town to dump it into but I could also just dump it into all the deaf towns but mm, I want to push it out into all the new towns get these to 10 and then we can just do uh, bonus buildings when all these are 10 just sim up our entire grid boom Anything cheap we can build now? Not really. But we have the capacity to take all that comes in, so we can just slow sim something. Boom. There we go. OK. 
Okay. Hmm. Eh, not the best hammer cues. Slow and steady for now. Uh, that's 150. Yeah. Shouldn't overflow. Hey, Sensation. Welcome back to the stream. Uh, yeah, Mitrovic. Roger that. Uh, general stats. We haven't had a look at that. That is correct. Um, again, day 40, 10,000 registered players from the beginning. I'm not sure how many are left. Let's just briefly look at that. Uh, 4,360 still in the game, and then a thousand of those are playing, I guess, <laughs> or something. <clears throat> Are we uh, are we growing okay? Yeah, let's look at rank one. Um, we have thirty six towns now compared to thirty three from Antichrists. Again, they decided to chill a little. Uh, so, but otherwise, just staying ahead with five k pop. So we're still popping. We're still building. Like we're we're like we need more defense. So we're building more death towns. So that is increasing our pop uh, exponentially as well. Um, so investing into some good stuff. Uh, no, okay. Well, you know, uh, I I I don't care that much about pop. I like production. I like uh, all that stuff. But at the same time, I I also don't like spending too much gold all the time. You know, so getting more towns require gold. Um, but uh, people are still in the game building uh but we are 10 towns now ahead of top 20 so but uh we're building okay uh and otherwise our stats also shows okay it's not glorious uh but it's uh one in the on the server resource rank still rank 1 right and uh overall we're down to 18 uh, or 8 i mean um but people are finishing their production. Uh, people are still raiding. Uh, so some of those are getting ahead of us. Um, do you use the new wave builder? Yes, smoothie, of course. It is, you need it. Like, like you can do without. Like, you can go super old school and sit with your offline modes and you can do this and this. But it works and i we just realized the other day i think it's day 33 or something checked out that video because we realized that we can set up multiple tabs with wave builder now like it had some limitations once but it seems very versatile now and uh, it is just good at hitting on the same second if you do ops where you usually send two waves or four waves then it is uh, absolutely uh, wonderful for for teamwork related tasks uh again you can't build 21 waves to clear a full town but you can do your eight waves and that's okay and how does it work uh well it's very simple um i can't really show you uh from the town right now i don't think i want to do that or maybe i can let's see it's just we have only have one hammer right now, and it's also in uh, in combat. Uh, so I think we can just do the simulation here. Again, oh, ugh. Is there anything there? Oh, there was actually something there. Add a wave. 
it, this is very badly set up, <laughs> but you know, you get it first wave, and then you can start building your waves. Uh, you have the ability to edit each wave individually afterwards, anyways, to add additional units to it. Uh, you can, when you have put in the second wave, if it is copy copyable with enough units, uh, we can just change that. Like, let's just do a normal <laughs> setup as you would. Let's say this is the hammer. Add a wave. With just the follow up units. So now you have two of them, and you can easily copy the next wave. It's they're going to be identical. So with 100 katas, 100 follow units, or or 300 kata in your wave, and then everything up here would stay the same, and then it always uh, calculates when you say add a wave, then it goes in and says, okay, what is actually left that we could add? Okay, then you add that completely. And then if we wanted to add another wave, you can see those units are not available anymore. You can do up to eight waves, um, and usually it lands for this first second to, and then for the next second. Uh, but it is quirky and it doesn't always do everything correctly. Um, but it is, it is as good as you would do in offline mode or manually or whatever. So, and yeah, I could imagine who is watching along. It's nice with some extra viewers. Um, but uh, you can do a lot of things with the new setup, and it's very versatile and nice, and uh, just uh, use it. It costs like 50 gold, so I, I personally, I think it should be a part of the plus package. Um, I don't think it's something you should individually access to each town. It's, yeah, don't get me started, but it's fine. The game costs a little. I just wish you could buy a full package and then you would have everything for the game. Um, let me pay $50 to play on a server and I pay that when I register and then I have everything I need. I, yeah, it's fine. Um, oh yes, Smoothie, it's, it's definitely useful. Um, it's... Um, it's not hard to use either. Uh, and that also reminds me we should check out the new trade routes. We get them for free uh, when you have the plus package. Um, so we should kind of check out. Okay, this is weird one. What? What? What is going on? Okay, so now it stays here. Next tryout, trade route starts at this. It needs two merchants, okay. So the info panel about how it works uh, or when it gets traded. And, and apparently for each town, you now get an individual tab describing when they will be sent throughout. And what I did last time, right, I'm building for each deaf town and hammer that gets fed 40k each hour. So 80k each hour at 04 and 33, 04, 33. So, and that's optimal with mass production on our capital. And that's for each deaf town. So. I like our trade routes right now. I don't think I'm, it goes down to town 10, 11. Why is 10 here and then 9 here and then 11? I don't understand the view order, but it's fine. Um, but let's say we broke that up completely. Uh, <laughs> 
Hey, Dennis. Why is Huna not talking? I don't know. They're, they're very quiet. Um, usually it's somebody else. But I'll, I'll look into the trade routes a little bit more in just a second. Um, I'm just going to stretch my legs for a little bit. <coughs> I can show you guys a little bit more funky stuff to look at, I guess. Um, so these are mainly points from all the clashes through the week. Uh, I still can't <laughs> bear with the fact that they managed to smeal, steal the small diet. Uh, but otherwise, I think alliance-wise, the top 20 here, yeah. We and Sting are rating a bit more than Hunar. Um, ER, but we have been switching alliances around this week, or players in alliances around a lot, so that also explains the rate difference, I think. Uh, but Ho and T and Black and stuff are just chilling. Um. Ah, good luck, Dean. Good luck. Please make a. You you can post a link to the report here. I would love to see it. Still just black with the VV. Who has been smashing their hammers all game? Spaghetti Mafia. Yeah, I'll be back in uh, just a few minutes, guys. All right, I'm back. By the way, Dean, uh, what's your overall account production? You asked about your level 20 hero mansion, if you should rebuild it. So I actually, it got me wondering a little bit, should you should you do it? And uh, kind of depending on your production, right? Um, so you should definitely just go in here and figure out, it's a military unit, right? Hero mansion. 1 to 20, it's going to cost you 2 million. So I think we produce like one and a half, two million an hour. So for us, it's not a problem rebuilding. Um, but you might not have as much production. So think about um, if it'll take you like five, hour, five hours to build or something. No, no, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not bragging. I'm just saying that's what we do the entire game. Like we sit and nag on each other being like, is it worth building this level right now? Uh, and I would say in most cases, it's important to, to get your production uh, calculated throughout the game. I'm 453. Well, you can always go into general tab and then just look at this production. So we have 35 
million, 36 million, uh, 40, 48 million divided by 24. That means we build uh, produce 2 million resources an hour. So you can do the same, and then based on that, you can say, okay, it'll take me three hours to complete our hero mansion, or however long it might take. Um, yeah, I think so, Nick. I think you're right. They were in 32, and now they're at 400k, so maybe they hit something just now. Somebody give me a report, please. Give it to me. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You guys are going nuts. That's what's happening. But I like it. That stuff. Uh, they also moved the unique boots out of the account. They have the slight diet now only. We could also take a look at all the artifacts on the server. 4 million crop, 1.5, yeah, okay, so you're 4, 3, 4 and a half, 8 and a half million an hour, uh, a, a day, no, no, yeah, a day divided by 24, that means you produce 350k an hour. And that's two million. There we go. It'll take you 5.7 hours to complete your hero mansion. So it'll, it'll take you, yeah, six hours roughly. So, and again, that is an investment for the next six hours for you. Uh, so depending on how you feel about it, uh, but the sooner you get it back, the sooner you increase your production. So you will get to, I don't know how much your production is in the capital, but again, could get you to 400K an hour. So yeah, most things doesn't sound too bad. It just, it seems overwhelming to do sometimes. So actually doing it uh, can um, can really put you on the right path of what you should do and what you should execute. Um, so everything is running there. We're just simming this still. I sent this some resources, right? Yeah. I think I'll just build some stuff. Uh, this needs to go up in this and this. I th I'll just build the easy stuff. Then we can wait for the next loads, and this one has a fair amount of resources. Just wait for that, then we can complete some infrastructure. We can also ship some more stuff to it. I think that will fill it up decently. So I think I'm going to drop bonus building grid and then just sim up more capacity. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to fix that and then we'll take a look at the trade routes and how it works. Uh, I need to learn it. If anybody has some nice intel about it, feel free to note anything down that might be noteworthy. 
Um, that up. Boom, boom. And then let's just place that grain mill. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, unfortunately, we don't have Rally Point in 01. You know, it's a hammer, so you don't need that stuff there. But uh, it's nice to know that we have some Huna players looking in. Uh, it's good. I wish you uh, the best of luck. Uh, now you got to shoot at us a bit, and uh, now we can shoot back. That is how you have fun. So, yeah, so Fizzy sent our ops earlier and uh, then I could take over and just chill and uh, sim the account. So, uh, a fair distribution of labor. Also, after he was forced to play the entire week. Uh. So almost done spending everything i think we'll just stop there we had some resources coming in yeah mm, 30 40 yeah it's kind of maxed out there i think we'll get some more capacity Do this and a f oh really? Ah, thirteen. Boom. Bakery, and then we can sim that residence while we wait for resources coming in. Goody. And this one could use a lot more resources. So I think I'll start dumping bigger loads of grain into that. That's 160. So that's already too much, right? <sighs> oh, but uh, Hosak, if you're still here, my man, uh, what did Antichrist hit? He just got another 70k off points or something like that. Was it anything good? Mm. 
Okay. <gasps> no! No, Hosak, that's not fair. That's not fair, man. Uh, All right, but now I know your account. And you're a bad neighbor, that's for sure. Uh-huh. What a bad guy, huh? Uh, let's see. Ah, yeah, yeah, you need diet holder. <laughs> but yeah. Sad behavior. But uh, I'm glad that you're frustrated that you have so little bit of incoming. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're right, Nick. But uh, <coughs> everything is fine. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're not really queuing our scouts that heavily. It's not really the priority here. Uh, but uh, yeah, our queues is not as excellent as they could be. And uh, I should just keep fo focusing on these. Uh, no, this one is 18. No, I don't think they've ever bragged about anything. They're just saying they managed to get 10 hours and then they're happy. <laughs> uh, and again, we are continuously boosting up towns. Uh, actually, defensive-wise, we're ranked 6 on the server. Um, so people are still... Top defenders are fair, fairly close together, but some of these above us are offensive players, um, I think, on the server. Um, yeah, top five, yeah. <laughs> Have you calculated your uh, hammer bashing into our defense, Dean? <laughs> I could imagine that would hurt a bit. But actually, when I play offense, I got also depressed by, like, calculating what my hammer would actually do to one of the bigger def accounts on the server. And it is amazing how much a def account would just tear a hammer to shreds, to be honest. Um, even though you're running greats all day long. Um, Ah, okay, you haven't calculated it. But, uh, I don't know how big your hammer is, but, uh, let's see. Uh, Yeah, I think you're Roman, right? Ah, no. I, I never really put the items on, uh, simply because then it stacks on the entirety of the army, and that is not the way it'll get triggered. It'll just get triggered for... A few of those um, 
or horses per se. So you should never really calculate with the trigger. However, you can always add the 100% for the 20% def bonus. We also have 10% there. What do you guys have? Maybe eight. And then you have 10,000 imp and I don't know if I, no, 10,000 cess. Ah, what, what is more normal? 8,500 cess, even though you have HDT active on it. 100, 100, and then middle lands and 2,000 ramps, 200 katas. I don't know. Is that too much or too low? Okay, so you don't have EC. Okay, that's fine. So EI, so you should have 10,000 EI then. So let's say that's your little cute play hammer kind of thing and that uh, that would require a fair amount of them yes you got more imps okay fair enough so and then we can just duplicate that how many times uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 13 times we copied that. Wait, and then I need a city wall. I need to be Egyptian. We have a stone mason, I guess. Doesn't matter. Uh, you had 8% metal, and then let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Will you breach it ever? Uh, no. Hang on, let's, uh, let's add some more hammers to it. <laughs> Okay, I think I added like five more. Oh, you're getting there, man. You need 20 of them. <laughs> and I forgot a unique wall. Okay, yeah. But I don't think unique wall, like I don't think you ever drop the wall, do you? Ah, you start dropping the wall here. So yeah, with the unique wall on top, hang on. Uh, boom, I, I think you can never drop the wall. Yeah, 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 you can never drop the wall with this amount. So let's see. But you still managed to kill most defense. Let's. Oh, oh, you. It'll take you. Okay, twenty-seven <laughs> hammers. <laughs> so, so fucking defense is just. It is so hard to to fight against. So, so yeah, that's uh, that's the stream for today. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, can I see anything? Yeah, the crop is coming in here, which means I needed to. Build that. Ah, smithy level too low. Okay. <coughs> Boom. And that's why, Dean, you have that progression towards the end game where, you know, you can only send your VV hammer and take a few levels off the wall and so forth. Like, a hammer can never breach anywhere uh, if you have enough defense. So this is done there. I could... Can I queue? 
no. But we have a lot of stuff coming in. So I'll sim on that. What is our overall resources? Mm, oh, we're starting to bank up a lot here. That's a o five and o six, o four. Just to get some of that crop out of there. Done. Ah, this would be nice. <laughs> But nah, nah, he makes more than we have on account right now. <laughs> he made 8.5 mil. And we only have like 6. Uh, let's get some more space there. Uh, but yeah, we were going to talk a little bit about trade routes, right? So... It was kind of broken when I was looking at it in the cap earlier. Okay, but if I want to create a new trade route, so I just go in here, I pick a target village. I specify the amount. I can still do send and deliver at these specific times. I can narrow it down. Ooh, 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 this is nice. Yes. Oh, this is nice. Oh, thank you, Trivian. Like, it doesn't select everything. It just takes them individually. And I can click there to select what? Mm, and then it goes for a six-second interval here. So I, it's actually more clickable now. If I, I was doing the capital trade route setup, and we're switching okay let, let's okay let, let's see if like i would do zero oh zero it just sets it to zero nice um deliveries it will just be one time repeat every hour um and again i'm not sure about that send only once when i would use that but yeah and then we can always deact them okay uh, yeah okay so yeah well I'm um, there there is some smaller changes um, but I think yeah otherwise some of the functionalities are the same so if I created this trade route set it up like that can I then do return no then I can't do return, guys, to do another batch. Then I have to set it up again from scratch. If I was supposed to take the next town here to, like if I was moving it away from cap, I selected cap the first time and then I would take the, the next town, do 25 or it would be 05 and then I would have to set up the entire grid again right uh, but I can also edit selected I can do 
Okay, then it takes me to that specific town that it goes to. What do I need that for? And then, yeah, so I edit it and move it somewhere, but Well, the good thing is that you can actually deactivate all now, but let's say I wanted to move everything from all our supporters to the capital. I would have to individually go in. What is this? Departure at 0154. 13 merchants goes to nowhere. To zero zero. Uh, okay. That was some weird ass trade routes. So deactivate all. Boom. but I would have to deactivate all for each town that I'm pushing to. Mm, that's fine, I guess. But I can't, I can't as before specify everything. Create that, go to 31, and then reload. I, I would have to create it from scratch every time. I can't use a template or set up a template or something. Like I would have to specify it every time. I'm I'm not super pleased about this. Um I shouldn't really complain about having this new functionality, however it is somewhat limiting. Or am I missing a repeat interface grid? Like, it doesn't really remember anything. Is, they did a lot of glossy stuff, but... And it gives a nicer overview and everything now, but it didn't really improve the workload, except from the fact you can de easily deactivate all. But having to set up all these towns to the capital, it's it would require a bit more amount of work. And I can't even select this. I need to select all of them then and then delete them. Hmm.
Disappointing. I can't adjust it anywhere else, right? I can't trigger it in a specific way. to reactivate it is, yeah, clicking that button. I... Okay, that's the new trade routes, guys. Um... I guess that's how it goes. Um, I guess they moved over all our trade routes okay when they, like we, I'm not sure we got, like it's not like all the trade routes got deleted, so they had to spend a lot of time rebuilding in regards to transferring all the database information of the trade routes to the new functionality. Uh, but again, if we had to deactivate all our trade routes, we would have to go through all of them clicking but that's fine. That is uh, worth the time not having to restructure and redo all your trade routes. But, um, meh. It is lacking. Let's see if we can get this up. And then put on one big party. Sure, uh, we won't have enough. Yeah, missing six thousand. We'll be pushing a lot of crop. Yeah, hang on, Paige, I'll get back to you.
But uh, yeah, why don't you level smithy and can upgrade two building plus two, two levels with each immediate construction? Yeah, well, that is also the game plan here. Um, problem is that uh, with 18, there is just so much to be built. Uh, so right now we're still working on infrastructure. Uh, we can build it at the same time we're building these or more the other elements of the infrastructure. Like this one, we're doing the upgrades while we're building level 20 hospital and town hall. And I also did it when I was leveling the academy. I'm not sure if you noticed, but, and now we're doing it here with the, with the smithy. Um, so just doing the upgrades while I'm sent some crop over, which we could NPC. Um, but again, yeah, it's not super practical building it while we're building uh, expensive stuff. But that is where we are right now. But yeah, otherwise you would do the upgrades uh, at the same time if you can. Um, I think that's most of the update for now here on the account. Uh, we'll have some reports again in the next week. Uh, there will be a lot of fighting going on, I see and hope. Uh, maybe people will start settling VVs and taking them. I mean, can't really settle them. Um, but otherwise, we'll see how we progress. Um, we talked a little bit about how these new deaf towns are made and their required elements. And that's also what you see here in 18 that we're working on would be the same. So we still have a fair amount of way to go before 18 is completed. Um, also why we're not building smithy levels just yet. Like the main focus is just getting that capacity up and the production buildings and the production here. Um, I think 17 is already, yeah, it's fully done. This one is missing. Um, <coughs> and then here later tonight, we can start fixing the cues. I also need to fix the hammer, I think, with production. Uh, we need the infantry towns. They're pretty much running on their own now, so they just need to get queued. And we can keep boosting here. I think this one was missing a party earlier. I think we can put that on now. Yep. And then I think all the parties are fine. More or less. Again, we wanted to build that great party here. Thirty, sixty, eighty. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to overdo the pushing. And this one was coming in as well. Um, so yeah. That's the stuff on the server. Uh, we're just simming along, preparing for end game, uh, getting those units out. Uh, again, we stopped here when we had 10 horse towns. Uh, it is a bit much to run both. We will also get lower on the crop amount in the long run. Uh, I think it was, we're down to 500K an hour here. Uh, but again, we also have units standing other places, going to move those things around if need be, going to do different elements of that. I think uh, alliance-wise, we also managed to complete some bonus elements. Uh, 
recruitment is completed, running currently. Our commerce got done. That's why we've been increasing in our spawn capabilities of trading. Uh, I should go check that out. Otherwise, I think we might push philosophy and then do commerce again. 250, want that for end game. Uh, let's see. Ah, some trades have come in. Uh, 90, 100, 140. Okay, so 210 is coming in right now. Um, in 30 minutes. And two and a half hours. Okay, I actually don't need to NPC right now. But I think I'll just put on some horses. Want to keep those running for us. Um, and then... Wait a second. I got a brilliant idea, actually. Uh... Let's see, we had a slave town that we built that was called 12. And if we go in here and go to the farm list. Uh, we can do it. Who knows spam list with one slave on it. And then we could go to Huno. They don't have anyone in top 10 right here. Yeah. There, and then there was that guy. I'm just bored, guys. Don't mind me. Oh, he has a nice big account. And then we can just grind through these slow and steady. We just loaded all of them. It's very easy building these annoying raid lists, right? Too easy. But otherwise, I didn't have that much to show. Uh, I think uh, I found a new series I like. Uh, so I'm going to watch the end of it. And then otherwise, some funny stuff will be happening someday, somewhere. Uh, okay, I already added it. My mind started drifting. Uh, and I can close them by clicking the mouse wheel and then removing them individually. I just hate clicking on the mouse wheel, but it seems to work. And then we managed to build that farm list. Uh, Huna it, I guess we can call it. <laughs> And I have a lot home, I guess. Yeah. Only cost 29. It doesn't. It only has 29 villages. Really? Oh. 
apparently so. But, uh... I don't know about you guys, but... Uh, oh, I think... Oh, last time I checked the, the clock, it was 40 minutes, but now we're up to two hours. I think that's a good stream, too. Um... We got to update a little bit on the reports, um, the the game overall, what we're doing right now. And again, right now we're also moving along with like settling away from our cat region. So just dropping these additional deaf towns everywhere. Um, and yeah, trainer works for defense as well. You can move a large trainer to a deaf town. Um, or a, to a deaf player. Uh, you would never use small trainers on deaf players, but you can definitely use large ones uh, if you want. Uh, well, where did I end up? <laughs> um, but yeah, we will continue to just settle away from our cab region, maybe place some close by if we can't really start to find that many more decent support villages uh, there are some up here but they clash with other people there's no seven seas that we can settle here like it's all other types or a four four seven three but that again is not really iron based so in reality we would just take a normal town to boost that or like this one maybe three four five six town that would be the best for overall production but again the clashes with people and yeah well we'll see how we can settle it's a it's a new little thing every day figuring that out but i don't really plan that far ahead right now we just adjust to that and then we have these that i will keep simming and chilling with uh Just gonna keep boosting those. More coming in. But yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm kind of tired. It's a long day ahead of us. There was also a day tomorrow. I also got up weirdly early this morning and been goofing around all day, just trying to enjoy the the holiday. I hope you guys will enjoy the weekend and um, and the holiday <laughs> holiday season next week when you guys have to go back to work but uh, uh, I hope you will have fun and uh, we made this amazing list because apparently he likes uh, harassing me so I can harass him too uh, so yeah thanks for dropping by Dean and Paige and, uh, and everybody else uh, let's click on this little bad boy and uh, watch him rage somewhere in the real world and uh, I hope you will have a great day because I will too. So uh, thanks for now and uh, have a great time.